the Upanishad series traditional paths it is the first day of the new year we call it new we call it nav all this means if we look into the word new or nav it means that which is in front of you how does this comes into existence the smallest unit you want to speak the smallest unit is a letter one letter merges itself into the other dissolves itself and bridges with the next letter in between there may be a connecting grammar may be necessary that acts as a bridge and these two letters form a word but for that each has to dissolve into one another to give it a meaning one letter by itself is meaningless when one dissolves into the other one moment dissolves into the other and the process continues we get time when one letter dissolves into the other and bridges one another we form a word when one word connects to another similar word a sentence is formed a meaningful the smallest unit is the moment the smallest unit is letter and for life the smallest unit is each breath that comes in if we understand this we go on uniting go on dissolving merging one into the other we are always in the moment now new and that which is now or new is nothing else but this very moment of now whatsoever change happens happens in this moment we have learned to live this moment this is the process of meditation process of inward journey that we go on meeting we go on dissolving each new moment into the earth in sufism this process is known as fana dissolving one into the other to make the process meaningful and to remain in the moment this is prayer this is meditation and indeed you cannot name this as a path and there is no need either to name it i do not belong to any path whatsoever therefore all paths belong to me these paths are like tools whichever tool i need at the moment is necessary in that moment each path is perfect in itself 
but each path can help only a minor part of humanity. When I speak the Hindi word, it is understood only by those minority who understand Hindi. Similar is the case with the other languages. Similar is the case with the paths. There was a time when the number of listenership from a particular group used to increase when I am speaking on a particular path. People from that path will come. I need the people who are not concerned with any particular path. It is like the path of the honeybee. It does not matter to the honeybee, it continues to remain in the garden of the flowers. A flower has blossomed, it moves from flower to flower. According to its own capacity, it gathers nectar and then transforms into honey to be consumed. Each path is perfect in itself. But each path can help only a very minor part of humanity. Each path exists for a particular type, particular type of person. It is complete in itself. Nothing is to be added to it. Nothing has to be detected from it. As it is, it is complete in itself but it can help only a particular type. Humanity is vast. One path cannot carry the whole humanity. All paths are needed. In fact, as the human mind changes, more new paths have to be evolved. When you go to a garment store, you have to use the clothes according to the season, the need of the season. And also, according to the needs of the body, the requirements keep on changing. All paths are therefore necessary. If I put it, it is a long sequence of tasbih where every single pearl or unit is as important as the other. In fact, as the human mind changes, more new paths have to be evolved. With the mind changing, many old paths have become by and by useless or can be used only by a very few individuals. I use all paths. Whenever I see a seeker, the first thing is to look into him, what type he is and what type of path will be useful for him. It is like an examination by a doctor. There are thousands of medicines, antibiotic, analgesic, are available. Which particular medicine will work for this particular person? Only the physician can know. The path of spirituality is that of a physician. Buddha says, I am the physician. I use all paths, whatever, whenever I see a seeker, I start looking into him, what type he is and what type of path will be useful for him. I may not use the name of the path because those names have become too much burdened. If a Hindu comes to me, I may say to him, Sufism is your path. 
he will not be able to understand. He will immediately become close to it. A Hindu cannot conceive himself on the path of Mohammedans. And even if he does, he will come back to his own path. Certainly, that is impossible for him. I may not talk about Sufism, but I will give him what, what I give him will be Sufism. To me, path is not important. What is important is the seeker. His inner health is the concern. Not that what kind of antibiotic is to be given or what kind of analgesic is to be given. For me, path is not important. Instead, the seeker is important. Path exists for you, not vice versa. You do not exist for any path or any doctrine. All doctrines, all paths, all dogmas exist for you. If they are helpful, good. If they are not helpful, they have to be thrown out onto the rubbish heap because it is not suitable for you. Traditionalists do not and may not agree with me. To them the path is sublime and even more important than the seeker. For me the seeker and his inner health is important. Man is important because it is the man who carries the potentiality of being God. Therefore he is significant, not the path. Paths are just means. Paths are the vehicles that take you. Use them but never be used by them. Remain masters and always remember that you are the end and nothing else is more important than you. Then your innermost core can assume flowering. If you remember this, you can use many paths and you can be enriched by everyone. Just as the nectar that you get, there is a specific type of honey that comes from a specific tree that is therapeutic. And this is my understanding that the more you walk on many paths, the more open you become, the more enriched you are, the whole past of humanity belongs to you. If you are a Mohammedan, do not say that only Mohammedan, only Holy Prophet belong to you. Buddha is also yours. Christ is also yours. The whole past of humanity is your heritage. Why be poor? If I say I am a Hindu and only Krishna belongs to me and Christ is, is a stranger, I would not allow him in my house. Only Krishna is allowed. If only Krishna is allowed, then you will have only one door to your house, only one room to your house. And then you cannot be a multidimensional. Symbolically, for this purpose, when you go to the Sikh temple, the Harmandar Sahib in Amritsar, the, the inner core of the temple has four doors. The seeker can come from any door. It is symbolic. If you only allow Krishna, then you will have only one door to your house, only one room to your house. Then you cannot be multidimensional. But if Christ also comes and Muhammad also is welcomed, then you will have enrichment. 
then you have different flowers in your garden how will your garden look if there is only one color of flower or one type of flower available the garden is beautiful because there are flowers of different colors fragrance and beauty then you have different flowers in your garden or you will have many types of diamonds in your treasury never confine yourself remain open welcome everything that has happened on the earth and all that is yours claim it and use whatsoever you can use for your own growth there is no need to stick or cling otherwise you will be frozen my whole effort is to melt you so that you can start flowing in many currents you are frozen somebody is frozen christian next may be a frozen hindu somebody is a frozen jain or a frozen buddhist all are dead melt become a little warmer you have become so cold and so closed become warm allow the sun rays to hook on you life will be end become vulnerable melt in a thousand and one currents and afraid and fearless start flowing god comes through a thousand and one ways and if he comes through a thousand and one ways let him come that way let you be introduced to god through as many possibilities as possible you live in a particular city there is a capital city from your place there are many roads that lead to the same place are you not aware of all the paths that lead to the capital city or the central place of your city you consider it normal why cling to one form why cling to one name all names are his and all forms are his and the more you become acquainted that all forms are his and more possibility exists for you to become aware that he is formless otherwise you can otherwise how can all form be his only the formless can manifest it in millions of forms only the pathless can be traveled through so many paths only the gateless can be achieved through many gates do not be poor become rich and claim the whole heritage of man that is why i go on talking of christ mahabir krishna patanjali buddha jagatrus lausi many other zen masters this is nothing but to show you that the whole of humanity is yours you are vast you are not frozen that particles instead you are alive alive beings and life is infinite i have no particular path all paths are mine i am not concerned with path i am concerned with you i look into you because you are important you are the goal and nothing else matters then i decide what is this what is 
and what will be suitable for you. Sometimes one path is suitable for you, sometimes two, other times three or many. It depends on how you have grown in your past lives. You may have, you may once have been following the Islamic path and you worked a little on that path you progress a little on that path, then you became a Christian and you walked on that path a little too before becoming a Buddhist. You have lived so many lives, you have forgotten them, but I cannot forget them. You can be forgiven if you forget. A master cannot be forgiven if he forgets. When I look into you, I do not look into your present because in your present all your past is involved in the form of subconscious and unconscious. It is there in its totality, layers upon layers. You are an infinite territory when I look into you, I look at how I look at how many ways you have been working upon yourself. A little on this path, a little on that. Then both of the paths will be helpful for you. Then in you, already a synthesis has happened. Indeed, I am not synthesis for any artificial combination. I am not in favor of synthesizing Christianity with Hinduism, but what can I do? I am helpless. It has happened to you already. You have been once a Mohammedan, then a Hindu, then a Christian. What can I do? It is the part of your consciousness. The synthesis has already happened and I am not trying to synthesize but for you but for you a synthetic past in which all the three are involved will be helped. It will give you a sudden surge of energy and at the same time it will release something within you. You will start flowering in many directions immediately and many flowers are to blossom in you. When I see that a man has been consistently following one path, then there is no need for synthesis. Then he has to follow that path alone. If one has been for at least seven lives a Buddhist, then there is no need then it will be confusing for him to give him something else. He has already worked hard on a particular path. How he has to be helped on this? Now he has to be helped on that path alone. Therefore, when you come to me, if you are a Buddhist and you have been a Buddhist for your past lives, I am here to make you a greater Buddhist. If you come to me and you have been a Christian in your past lives, I am here to make you a greater Christian. I may not tell you that. I am helping you to be a Christian, but do not be deceived by the appearances. I may not be saying that I am helping you to be a Buddhist, but I am doing that. One day when light will dawn on you, then you will suddenly realize that I was not a detractor. I have not taken you on another path which you were not on. I have simply helped you on the same path because all paths are mine. No particular path is mine. In that way I am richer. 
than anybody else who has ever existed in the world. Everyone had particular path and that has become his insignia. The name Mahabir cannot sit and the same Mahabir cannot say to you what I am saying. They had particular paths but I have none. The whole humanity and all the paths belong to me. And when you come to such a person, definitely you will be enriched. I have travelled on all major paths and minor paths as well. I know all the paths and such multidimensional richness you will experience around. On this day, when we celebrate the dissolution of one year into the other, we look into this and continue to live each moment as it comes because this moment that is available to you will not be repeated and will not come back to you again.